Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I am completely cornered and out of uh, real options to fight against uh, the massive swarm of chrysalids that's coming in. I have totally overdone it uh, with these settings and I love every second of it. Um, it's a truly masochistic experience uh, when you get humbled over and over by the game. So, today we're going to go and get humbled in Operation Crypt Seed, uh, the potentially only mission type that we're currently able to win due to finding out how imbalanced good the uh, ghost grenades are. Um, we can get John Jones, a scientist, plus 103 intel, and I thought to myself, you know, what would be better than one ghost grenade? Damn right, two ghost grenades, so we're running double zapper. Uh, Sane and Zonar will lead this mission. Um, Epitolos, Shooter, Morose and Noxus are tagging along. Um, I hope that Noxus will uh, get a little bit more experience because we need uh, to get the guys from Major to um, actual Colonel. But in order to do that we need to kill a few aliens and you've already found out that that isn't that simple. Um, no to myself, the next lost mission is going to be important because these are the only ones that we can actually kill. So maybe our main team needs to be uh, staffed on the next lost mission. Anyways, back to topic. I only took stuff that I'm willing to lose. Um, the bolt cast is the only unique item that I uh, took with me. And to be honest, if we were to lose it, okay, so be it. It's a decent weapon, but it is not uh, the end all due to the lack of uh, reloading speed. It's really not the best uh, weapon in existence, but it is good enough to take it with us. So, wish me luck. Time to jump and give it a go. Ratatatatam. Everybody jumps out. Well, at least VIP is on the way, so to speak. We got some high ground here, might be able to fight down, uh, bombard to get uh, that thing open, and then we're just running out. That's the core plan. Whether or not this is going to work uh, is a completely different topic. But I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, okay. Well, hello there. Chrysalid Mania. So, say, if uh, we were to hit all of you here, that'll be good, right? Right? Bam! Nice little shredding. Good job. Okay, cool. Well, a couple of things really. I'm going. We are moving up. And in the meantime, one hit. Yes, that's good. And a lot of suppression. That should disorient them. And even some grazing shots, that's okay. More important part is they are disoriented which then in return should allow us to actually kill this unit and get awarded with an extraction. No, he's not high enough skilled, but that combination would work a bit later. Sona moves up. Yeah, we need to use another grenade 
just to deal enough damage. down. Time for reposition. Combat protocol. Into killing this guy. Nope, not quite. Into killing this guy. Okay, we're down to one hit point. And unfortunately, the Chosen shows up. Immune to melee. Can summon savage allies. These shots will generate uh, shielding. And it has a bonus to dodge, so not a lot of damage. But 3 plus uh, attacks will indeed damage her. And she's taking extra damage from skirmishers. So I expected her to maybe be here. Which is why I have um, prepared with... Which is why I have prepared myself. We do have uh, battle scanners with us. There is another pack. I'm going. Carefully moving over here. And let's just kill all of them with a grenade. Noxus moves up. Secondly, this should unbury the one bored chrysalid. Uh, not bad. I mean, overall, that looks decent, uh, which means we can. Continue to push forward. Good, moving up. Killing the last chrysalid. Reload here. And overwatch. She might already be here. Let's just double check.
Well. She's not coming in straight, that is for sure. Good. Moving to here. Let's open the van. Moves up. Move Same moves up. Well, striking on the shield bearer. I think we're going to use the Mimic Beacon, no point in not doing that. Good. Good shot. I will not fail you again. Skirmisher is a problem. We have to deal with him. But we also have to deal with the Chosen. Well, hello. Great honor, but you have fallen so quickly, the elders will not be pleased. We've spotted the chosen. Get ready to fight. <laughs> Status confirmed. Target is eliminated. When you sacrifice all of them to save yourself, there will be no escape. <sighs> Good. One hit, free reload, and kill this guy. Good. Definitely time to shred her. Very good.
Um, I mean, listen. It is clear. That here. And then that here. And free defensive mine for the skirmisher. Might not be the worst idea. Get that stupid skirmisher down. Down to four hit points. Move an egg in. What kind of a hack can I get? Mm, yeah, we don't want another group of enemies. Thank you. I would rather put on Overwatch, and that might be a stun. Good hit, but not a stun. Which then brings us to Blinding Protocol, because I don't want grenades being thrown at us. Unfortunately, and the Overwatch still triggered. Hmm, that is stupid. Harbor Wave. Free revive, okay. Whatever you say, I've been forced to sign it. Oh, that's a problem. We were okay. No, we're not. I hate to do it, but I think we need to boogie out. Ghost grenade it is. Moving upstairs and just getting out of here. I was under the impression we might be able to win this, but the last pull 
uh, destroyed our momentum, unfortunately. What we can do is we can find a nice uh, calm spot up here. Oh, we could uh, carry uh, the unit well now. Nah. No, thank you. We're out of line of sight. We retain concealment. The problem is uh, that they have vigilance and vigilance is our natural enemy. Should be okay here. Good free reload whenever possible. And we should be okay. We already know the heck rewards. Let's see. Okay, well. Losing concealment. I can handle that. I'm position compromised. They got eyes. What's over there? I hope it's good. I'm spotted. Everybody was losing concealment. Unfortunately, due to vigilance, the vigilance one is the worst thing that could have ever happened to us. Rapid deployment doesn't work. Heading to that location. Heading there, 
Okay, we have one more turn to get out. At least our soldiers will be safe. I felt the fight went reasonably well. My biggest uh, grudge with uh, the whole scenario was we could have um, very much survived that. But uh, we unfortunately triggered one event too many. Good. One more turn. Position compromised. Don't have a wave. Whatever you do, don't have a wave. I think it's still on cooldown. Good. Whew. I was afraid we might again lose two more operators. It feels like dancing with the devil, just on the uh, on the knife's edge the entire time. I was really, really sure we could get out of there. But of course, the Chosen needed to sh uh, show up, goes directly to our VIP, and blasts his uh, brain out. Cool. Good shit. Yet another lost mission. And we just lost integrated warfare as well. That's bad. The elders have nearly come to realize their vision. We'll scan for more intel. Um, research for more intel. And then regain the continent. And very soon I will be forced to actually do something about the Avatar project. Cool, look at that. Our sniper finally got the promotion. Inside knowledge isn't bad. Not bad at all. Increase all of the weapon modification effects, which uh, just means more stats for us, basically. Uh, we could get a high level Reaper. And we get a promotion. Well, it's actually pretty damn good. Improve conventional weapons. Thank you. Mwah. That is it. That is it. Fabulous. Fabulous.
Mark here still needs more hit points. Yeah, we're yeah, we're definitely going to do that. This is so good. Engineer. Health isn't bad either. Nine dodge in eight days, that's good. Yeah, the dodge is helpful. I, I would love to do that. The more dodge, the merrier, is what they say. But this wouldn't be bad either. High level, uh, mm, high level Reaper could help us in at least uh, mm, in the facilities. Plus, I mean, it, it's a strong class. Could even be one that could help us to get down an alien ruler. Well, that's a good one as well, but there is no way I'm going to let this here slip through our fingers. That's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And first strong planet needs to be leveled up. Um, so, what do we have here? Critical hits deal plus one damage and have a chance to disorient or panic the target and nearby enemies. Oh, oh, that's good. Gain covering fire and cool under pressure abilities. Covering fire is react to every everything in cool under pressure is uh, mm, automatic overwatch after after double move shots taken while concealed have three armor peers hmm dedicated ammo slot is good i think we're going to take that one but i must say i like the apex predator And I like the extra ammo slot. Defensive mine isn't bad. That isn't bad either, but low profile low profile would be good as well. We're taking that next, but the dedicated ammo ammunition slot is worth its weight in gold. Um, because it'll mean we have one more, uh, just one more slot to deal with. For instance, mine shield, uh, mm, literally whatever that's not bad could use a different um, a different PCS nine health even if we're now giving him ten health that is still that's still difficult he needs to stand back in order to uh, to really work with that or we're uh, going to continue feeding him health. Uh, that would be an option as well. A sniper tank. Yeah, for now, extra health here. And Lyrical helps. Six days, nothing happens. We get plus one health and we get more damage which is mwah, fabulous I'll order my people to get underway immediately that is good despite blatant exaggerations by advent state media I can independently confirm all right Tactical analysis, finally. That is so helpful. Things are now falling our way. For once, it's actually going good. It is going great. I like it. Uh, are we going for more intel? I think yes. I mean, intel is what we need at the moment just to cover our losses, quite frankly. Avenger plotting new course. And I hope that 
the next six days will go without Avatar Project. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar Project. We're going to yeah, I don't want to lose four days. I think we can. If we have Hogbite, we can do it. 42 hours. I tell you what. Let's do four full days. I'm willing to go to go that low. And then we're invading the uh, the facility. What are we dealing with? Enemy unknown is not good, but is typically a gatekeeper. Both suck in their own uh, way. But I think with the uh, with the upgrade that should uh, do well. I was wrong by the way that's proximity mine so not good. Um, now that is stupid we don't need it. We need more intel. Okay, there are the extra supplies. And I think... I think we're just continuing uh, with building that. And... We do have more left over so might as well just um, put a another one to work we currently don't have anything meaningful that we could build here yeah we're waiting three more days there we go bond training is done that was helpful continuing to upgrade more bonds Uh, Chrysalid Broodmother? No, 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 no. Of course, that is the hidden event and the best reward, but I. I don't know, guys. Oh boy. A Colonel Field Medic. Uh, hack the workstation and fight 25. Or fight the Broodmother. I don't know. I mean, the Colonel uh, Field Medic sounds quite promising as well. In two days, we're going to have the weapon upgrade. And our primary team, Lyrical, Wrong Planet, Hogbite, Namri, Zukuger, and uh, Taurus, could actually go in and rock that one facility. They are well trained um, and are doing not bad at all. So, might as well do that, to be entirely honest. Uh, but that means, essentially, for the other missions, we have only captains and below ready to rumble. And that's not really good. But, I have found out just how strong ghost grenades are. And, maybe I'll just continue to run them. Because... If we play our cards right with Ghost Grenades, we can reset and re-engage on our terms. So that's not bad at all. And I would just run two Zappers then. It's a bit of a lame uh, tactic to just get everybody uh, into concealment. 
But maybe that's what it takes. Uh, just quote unquote teleporting shortly away, getting everybody uh, kind of ready and then uh, starting again from concealment. Anyways, let me think, uh, let me know what you think about uh, the latest developments. Things are actually looking good. I am super excited. Um, ballistic weapon upgrade, tactical analysis. Boy, that is strong. That is really strong. Good. If you want to do something strong, wrangle the like button down and let me know if you have successfully wrestled it. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.